this is just a quick tip tutorial on how to create an object light. So this is my scene file and um, I'm just going to play it back and I created this kind of probe object. Now the thing with this is um, the main light source in the scene is in fact the material which I applied to this kind of um, circular section here. And this is my probe object here. I've got hypernerbs for uh, smoothing it and this is the original object and as, as you can see I've uh, created a polygon selection and then applied the material to that polygon selection. Now if I go into the material settings the only uh, option that's checked is luminance and if I go into my luminance settings it's just a simple white uh, color. In illumination I've uh, really increased the kind of generates GI settings so the strength is 1200 and the saturation is 800 and uh, I've also checked generate caustics although I don't think that's necessary <clears throat> and I've given it a very large strength so that's the kind of key to uh, using material or object based lights is to um, come to this tab here and really bump up the settings and I've got a few other lights in the scene. They're very subtle. Um, as you can see, the intensities are very low, just to add some secondary lighting in the background. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then I've got this uh, plane object with a displacer modifier on it to create these kind of uh, mountainous peaks. And that's pretty much it. So if I go into my render settings, I've selected global illumination, and this is essential uh, if you want to create an object-based light and I'm using Irradiance Cache with light mapping and this is new to a Cinema 4D version 15. I've set the samples to high and I've also set the record density to high in uh, Irradiance Cache. Uh, I've increased the path count to 10,000 and I've checked build radiosity maps and pre-filter and I should have checked nearest but I didn't. But um, the animation looked uh, flicker free when I checked it so maybe it's not necessary so that's basically it um, yeah just uh, make sure you bump up the settings in the illumination tab uh, ch make sure you turn on global illumination and you can use uh, any material as a light source so uh, that's the end of this quick tip tutorial and uh, thanks for watching